They told me I would see God when I went in, and I did. I enjoy seeing broken men restored. When you go in, he will give you everything you need for these men. When I came to the Lord, this was a great opportunity for me to serve. The guys on the inside, or as we call them, brothers in blue, they're looking for hope in a dark place. The thing that drew me most to the uh, wild prison ministry was the change that I saw that was taking place in a friend that does ministry with me, Todd, that leads worship at wild ministry. Uh, when I came into this ministry, I came in uh, with a broken spirit, and God used this ministry uh, to heal my broken soul through coming in and sharing my testimony with these brothers in blue. So that many times God comforts us so that we can comfort others. For me, the bottom line of the ministry is that we get the opportunity to introduce Jesus to those that don't yet know him. And for those that do know, know him, we get to strengthen their walk and their relationship with Jesus. So I go on my first journey and I find that God is there. God is in the prison. God is moving in men's life. And I can't wait to go back. When we come into the prison, the inmates are very defensive and we see that in their body language. At the end of the first day, there's some big handshakes. At the end of the next day, there's some hugs. And when we finally leave, there's tears as the men are really regretting that they're gonna miss us. Prison ministry. Wow, what an opportunity, what a blessing. Why? For you see, I have the unique opportunity going back in because I was called to ministry while I was wearing blue. So I love going back in, being that example, letting these guys see that you can make it. It's not too late, that there is hope and a second chance. If you're called to prison ministry, there will be a way. Even if you think there's no way, there will be a way made available to do it. I didn't think there was a place for me in prison ministry. But here I am, I've been doing it for 13 years now, and uh, I'm ready to do my 14th year, God willing. If you speak Spanish and have a desire to serve the Lord, the, the harvest is uh, plentiful and, and there are a few workers there, so por favor, dale un tiempito al Señor para que compare y, y ayude en este programa de WOW. Yeah, there's 2.2 million people behind prison and the Lord's called us to go minister and take the gospel to all the nations. That means the prison nation too, and we need you. The harvest is great, but the workers are few. I'm the CEO of Stabilizing Life Christian Ministry and the leader of the Wild Prison Ministry. In 2019, we have four journeys coming up. One in March, one in May, one in July, and one in November. Come join us. Come to the team meetings. We go in prepared and planned. 